Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. And the topic is uh, breastfeeding problems. Uh, you know, the many women, uh, they don't have any problem by breastfeeding to their baby, you know. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, there are many women who uh, have the problem. You know, there are multi problems like uh, uh, sore nipples or infections or large or small nipples, you know, or the uh, like uh, uh, electrician strike or uh, multiple, you know. But today's topic is uh, uh, one of the most common problems is the sore nipples, you know. You know, the many women uh, report that the nipples can be tender uh, at first, you know, and uh, the breastfeeding should be comfortable once you have found uh, some positions that work and uh, uh, it's possible uh, to still have pain from an uh, abrasion you already have you know and uh, you uh, may have pain if your baby is uh, sucking on only one nipple you know so uh, ask a lactation consultant for help to improve your baby's uh, latch you know and uh, talk to your doctor if your pain does not uh, go away or if uh, uh, you suddenly get sore nipples after several weeks of pain-free breastfeeding, you know. Now, sore nipples may lead to breast infection, uh, which needs to be treated by the, with the antibiotics by the doctor, you know. Now, the question here is what should you do if uh, you have the sore nipples, you know. Well, a good latch is the key so uh, visit the uh, bringing your baby to the uh, breast to latch section for the detailed uh, instructions you know and if your baby is sucking only uh, one nipple gently break your baby's suction uh, to your breast by placing a clean finger uh, in the corner of your baby's mouth you know and try again you know and so your nipple should not uh, look flat or uh, compressed when it comes out of your uh, uh, baby's mouth you know so it should look uh, uh, round and long and uh, the same shape as it was before the feeding you know now if you find uh, yourself uh, like uh, wanting to delay the feeding because of pain and get help from the lactation consultant and uh, delaying feedings can cause more pain and uh, harm uh, to the supply of the milk, you know. And uh, uh, try changing the positions each time you breastfeed. So this puts the pressure on the different part of the breast, you know. And uh, after breastfeeding, uh, you should uh, express a few drops uh, of the milk and gently rub it uh, on your nipples with the clean hands, you know. And uh, human milk has natural healing properties and uh, emollients that soothe, you know. So try letting your nipples uh, air dry after the feeding or uh, uh, wear a soft cotton shirt, you know. Uh, if you are thinking about uh, using creams, uh, hydrogel pads or the uh, nipple shields, get help from the healthcare provider first, you know. So don't buy it on your own, you know. Just consult your doctor for that. And uh, uh, avoid wearing the bras or the cloth that are too tight and put pressure on the nipples, you know. And uh, change the nursing pads often to avoid uh, like uh, trapping in moisture, you know. And avoid using the soap or the uh, ointments that contain uh, astringents, you know, or other chemicals on your nipples. So make sure to avoid the products that must be removed before breastfeeding. Washing with the clean water is uh, uh, all that is needed to keep your nipples and breast clean, you know. So avoid use of any chemicals. And uh, if uh, uh, you have uh, very sore nipples, uh, you can ask your doctor about using the non aspirin pain relievers, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease and medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. The next uh, uh, video will be about another problem of uh, breastfeeding that's uh, low milk supply. So keep watching.